Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today is Friday, June seventh. We're getting closer and closer in the month to the end. But before we do, we have a couple short articles for you. Let's look at the first one called "World Gets Its Own Hashtag Ten Year Challenge." 中文标题是十年挑战揭示地球悲歌 Now listen carefully as I read through the whole short article. Here we have two articles for you today because you may be tested. <laughs> you will be tested. <laughs> no question. The start of 2019 brought with it the viral hashtag 10 Year Challenge. All across social media, users were posting side by side photos of themselves, one recent and one from a decade ago. It didn't take long before people were using this image comparison meme to reflect on the dismal state of the world and the environment. Among the more shocking images were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen, two countries that have been decimated by war since 2009. Contrasting pictures centered on the effects of global warming. Were also widely circulated, with some showing the dramatic loss of ice in the Arctic, and others highlighting the effect climate change has had on animals. In one viral image, a starving polar bear is held up as the terrible reality of the world today. So, the start of 2019 in January, it brought with it. The viral ten-year challenge, or hashtag ten-year challenge. If something is viral, it means that people spread it around amongst themselves, like the flu. But in this case, viral things are pictures that go through social media. And the ten-year challenge, honestly, it was very interesting because it did start off with people, you know, comparing ten-year-old go selfies with ten-year old current selfies, which is, you know, pretty boring after a while. And then, but then. What happened is what's the rest of the article. 好，所以呢，他说呢，二零一九的年初，哈，或者一开始 ，the start of 2019 brought with it 就是带来什么东西呢？这个 it 就是这个二零一九的年初，哈，所以他自己带来什么东西呢？带来这个 viral 就是一个火红的，哈，这个爆红的。他原来这个字是跟这个病菌有关的，哈，那表示一下之间传播传这个传播速度非常快，也是爆红的意思。好，这个爆红的这一个这个 hashtag ten year challenge. All across social media, users were posting side by side photos of themselves, one recent and one from a decade ago. Just as Angela mentioned at first,、um, well, here's me in 2009, and now look at me in 2019. A lot of people did that, but、uh, it can get boring pretty fast. 好，我们看到这个地方，他说 ，all across social media， 就是社群媒体上面，哈，这个整个的社群媒体，在这整个社群媒体上面，我们可以看到 users 啊，一些使用者呢，他们在 post 啊 ，they were posting， 他们都这个上传啊，一些 side by side photos 啊，就是并列的一些照片啊，那谁的照片呢 ？side by side 就是并列的，那谁的照片呢？是 of themselves， 就他们自己的一些这个并列的照片。啊，那怎么样个并列法呢？他接下来告诉你 ，one recent 啊，一张照片是他最近的照片。然后呢 ，one from a decade ago， 另外一张呢是十年前的照片啊，并排在一起，然后让你看一看这个，看他这个对比。So it didn't take long before people were using this image comparison meme to reflect on the dismal state of the world and the environment because this is all on our minds. <laughs> And so, I mean, yeah, it used to be about selfies, but very quickly people are like, you know what? Let's compare places because that's way more interesting and dramatic. Because everyone's worried about how the environment is and also the political state of the world as well. So、um, they were reflecting on, they were thinking about the dismal, the terrible state of the world and the environment. Okay, this sentence says it didn't take long before 怎样怎样。好，那各各位注意这种句型，就 it didn't take long before something happened， 也就是 soon something happened 的意思。好，不需要花多少时间，这件事情就发生了。什么事情开始发发生了呢 ？People were using 啊，大家开始用这样的一个 image comparison meme 啊，这一个这个影像对比的 meme 啊，是个迷音啊
。那我们先看 image 就是影像啊 ，par comparison 就是比照对比。那 meme 这个字呢，我们中文现在翻成迷音啊，这个让你觉得很迷惑的原因啊，迷音。那迷音指的是一系之间啊，在网际网网络上面会被大量宣传、大量传播啊，像一一举成为备受瞩目的事物啊。它可能是音乐，可能是图像，可能是影片啊。所以呢，没多久啊，这样子的这种这个 image comparison 就就成为一个风网在网络上面风靡的一个 meme 哈、啊。那他目的是要干嘛呢 ？To reflect on 啊，来这个醒思一下，来反省一下，叫 reflect on。醒思反省什么东西呢 ？The dismal state。dismal 这个字呢 ，dismal 就是这个让你觉得很很沮丧的哈，让你觉得很惨淡的哈，很悲惨的那样啊，让你觉得心情很不好的啊，这样的一种 state of the world and the environment 啊，让你觉得这个惨淡的。啊，这个现在世界面对的状况，还有我们的环境所面对的，这个都是 dismal state. The next paragraph, among the more shocking images, were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen, two countries that have been decimated by war since 2009. Remember, we're taking pictures from and comparing them between 2009 and 2019. During that time. Two Middle Eastern countries, Syria and Yemen, have had nonstop war, and that's why they use the word "decimated." It, that means completely destroyed. So here's a picture in 2009 of my village. Here is a picture in 2019 of of、what's、oh, there's nothing of, here. What's left <laughs> of my village? Yeah, how so? Among 就在在什么之中哈，在这些比较 more shocking images， 在这些比较让你觉得更比较恐怖的这些影像之中呢 ，were 有什么呢？有一些 photo 啊 ，photo comparisons， 有一些照片的比较。好，那这个当然是个倒装句了哈。那他，我们先把这句子讲完，再告诉各位他真正的主旨在哪里。好，所以有一些 photo comparisons 啊，比较的是叙利亚跟也门啊，然后告诉你同一个啊，这是 two。Countries, 这是两个国家 that have been 被怎么样 decimated. 哈 decimate 就是 to kill 或者是 destroy a large proportion of something. 哈就是摧毁或者杀害大量的比例啊。这个是很有趣啊，因为这个 de d e c i m 哈这个 decim 这个是十的意思，所以 decimate 这个字本来是 kill one in every ten. 嗯，好，每十个里面杀一个。啊，但是呢，后来这个字慢慢被他用用用用用的，他现在不是十个杀一个，他是杀大量的啊，是 a large proportion 啊，不是十分之一的啊。那所以这个字字义有一点改变啊，但是你了解这个字的历史，可以帮助你记这个字啊。所以这两个国家呢，他们被大量的这个啊，被大量的人民被大量的杀害啊 ，by war 因为战争的关系。那这是从2009年开始啊，所以后面这个同位格，我们如果不看的话呢，我们可以说这个句子它真正的主词啊，不是可以说就是。哈，这个句真正的主词就是 photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen。然后呢，接下来动词是 were， 然后呢，再加这个介系词片语 among the more shocking images。好，但他把它把这个呃呃介系词片语把它拿到前面来 ，among the more shocking images were， 然后再把主词讲出来 ，photo comparisons of Syria and。Yemen. He has done this because the sentence before has a long sentence that has been decimated by war since 2009. So, because of these reasons, he has changed it. But this sentence is still very clear. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria and Yemen. Contrasting pictures of Syria and Yemen were photo comparisons of Syria And they were centered on the theme of each set of pictures is about the effects of global warming, and this kind of picture was also widely circulated along with the images of Syria and Yemen. And some of these pictures were showing the dramatic loss of ice in the Arctic, which is really kind of breathtaking. And other picture sets were highlighting or showing or bringing up.、Um, pointing to the effect climate change has had on animals. Okay. 那我们看到这个句子，他说 contrasting pictures。好，那前面我们是用 comparisons 啊 ，photo comparisons。那在这里这两个字意思差不多哈，但事实上呢，呃，我们在学英文作文的时候呢 ，comparison 跟 contrast 是不同的写法哈。comparison 就比较两个东西，那这个时候比的可以是比相同的，也可以比不同的。但是 contrast 通常是比较不同的部分
啊，所以这两个字原来是有点差别的，但在这里用起来是差不多的。因为 photo comparisons， 你来比一比，会发现啊，这这个一样哎，啊，这地方一样哎，啊，这些地方不一样。所以包括相同跟不同的，那 contrast 它比较强调是你比的是不同的部分啊，所以这个 contrasting 呃 pictures 就是对比的这种照片呢 ，centered on 它的这个重点集中在哪里啊？集中在 the effects of global warming， 集中在于这个。全球暖化这样的一个效果 effects 啊，像这一类的照片，就是集中在暖全球暖化效果的这一类的照片呢。Were also， 他们也是被 widely circulated， 也是广为流传，所以很多人会在网上传很多那种啊，这个全球暖化的这个造成的影响的对比的照片啊。然后 with some 啊，那这些在网上流传的照片里面有一些啊 ，with 是附带状况。有一些 showing， 有一些显示的是 the dramatic loss of ice 啊，这个很剧烈、巨大的啊 dramatic loss 就是损失 of ice， 在哪里的损失呢？在北极啊，也就是北极那种很夸张、很剧烈的那个冰的冰层的损失啊，因为全球暖化。好，然后呢 ，and others。就是 with some 如何如何 ，and others 如何如何啊，这个句子啊，所以这个这些照片 were also widely circulated with some 如何如何 ，and others 如何如何，就有一些是这样子，有一些是这样，那有一些是 some showing 啊，我们刚刚看到 the dramatic loss of ice， 好，那另外 others 是 highlighting 就是凸显啊，其他凸显什么呢 ？the effect 效果啊，也就是影响 that 省略掉了 the effect that climate change has had。就是气候转变有造成的效果啊 ，on animals 就在动物身上造成的这些影响跟效果。In one viral image, the image here is one of the pictures that is being posted, and it's gone viral, become extremely popular, and spread through many social media. A starving polar bear, starving is not having enough to eat for a long period of time,、uh, and possibly the animal is close to death. It's held up as the terrible reality of the world today. It has become a symbol of, or an example of, the situation that some animals are having,、uh, as global warming and pollution and other problems、uh, that we have in the world today have spread around the globe. 好，所以在一张 viral image， 在一张这个啊网络上疯传的这个照片上面的一个影影像上面呢。我们可以看到一只 a starving， 一只快要饿死的啊，这个 polar bear， 北极熊啊 ，is held up as to be hold to be held up as， 就是 to be used as an example 啊，所以把一一个快要饿死的北极熊被拿来作为一个这个例子来告诉你 the terrible reality of the world today， 告诉你现在这个世界这个很恐怖的事实，就是这个全球暖化造成了很大的影响了。Okay, that was our first short article for today. Let's flip the page. We're on page twenty-five, and let's now look at Oxfam report shows startling global inequality. 好，那这篇文章中文标题是前二十六大富豪身家等于全球一半穷人。I'll read through this just one paragraph here, but a lot of interesting and impressive information. In January 2019, Oxfam, a charitable organization that works to alleviate global poverty, released a shocking statistic: the world's 26 wealthiest people have as much money as the poorest half of the world's population, roughly 3.8 billion people. The report is an annual wealth check measuring inequality. That Oxfam releases every year before the start of the World Economic Forum in Davos. Included in their findings was the mention that the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, worth 112 billion U.S. dollars, could pay for the entire health budget of Ethiopia with just one percent of his fortune. The report also noted that in Britain, the poorest 10 percent. We're paying more in taxes than the richest ten percent in the country. So, in January 2019, a charitable organization called Oxfam, their job is to alleviate or to help 
um, reduce global poverty. Um, they released a shocking statistic, something that made everyone kind of go, oh, whoa. The world's 26 wealthiest people, just 26, not 2,600 or whatever, 26 guys have as much money as the poorest half of the world's population. And our population is running at like 7 billion. So 7. that's 6. roughly 3.8 billion people. 26 people have the same amount of money as 3.8 billion people. Whoa. So, Charitable organization that works to uh works to alleviate global poverty. To make something less severe, 啊, 通常是 make pain, 啊, 或者是 difficulty less severe, 啊, 就是减低, 啊, 一件这个, 使得, 它不是那么, 呃, 减缓啊, 啊, 这个, 减轻, 减缓, alleviate. 所以他们努力致力于要减缓 global, 全球性的这种贫穷, 啊, 那这是个同位格, 所以它还不是动词, 也不是受词, 啊, 那, 它还是主持的一部分。那这个句子真正的动词在release,在这里。那release这个字呢,就是释放的意思,就是公布。allow information to be generally available,这叫release。所以它这个公布的一个shocking,一个大家看的会令人震惊的shocking,令人震惊的一个statistic,一个统计数字。那冒号就是要告诉你说,这个统计数字讲的是什么。那我们看他讲的是什么呢？他说 the world's twenty six 啊，世界上前 二十六个 wealthiest people 啊，就是全世界最有钱的 二十六个人 have as much money as 他们所拥有的财富呢，跟 the poorest half of the world's population 好，跟这个全球人口最贫穷的一半的人口是怎么样？是一样的。所以二十六个人拥有的财富啊，是全球一半的穷人。或者全球一半人口比较穷的那一半的人口所有的财富加起来就是这二十六个人所拥有的财富那这个全球比较穷的那一半的人口呢 you're very lucky you're the 27th well, you read so. my mind. I was just going to tell you, stop looking at me. Okay, so you're not guilty. <laughs> Although, we wouldn't mind a little distribution. Retribution or distribution? We don't need to retribute. We just need to share the wealth. Uh, retribute the baofu. Uh, not distribute. Just the uh, fen, fen, bo, fen pay, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's continue here. The report is an annual wealth check measuring inequality that Oxfam releases every year before the start of the World Economic Forum in Davos. So the, this information in a report released by Oxfam is what they call a wealth check. They're going to report, apparently, every year. These sorts of uh, statistics, not necessarily, is it 22 or 26 or 36 people are the wealthiest, but the you can bet they will find some startling statistics about global inequality, and they release it at a good time. There, every year in Davos, Switzerland, there is a World Economic Forum, which invites many of the world's richest and politically most powerful people to get together, uh, trying to solve some of the huge problems that face humanity and the natural world. Uh, at this time and into the future. Okay, 这个句子他说呢, the report, 这个报, 报, 这个报告呢, 啊, is an annual, 它是一个一年一度的, 叫做annual, 它是个wealth check, 啊, wealth check, 就是一个财富的这个检测, 啊, 那这个财富的检测干嘛呢, measuring, 它测量, 它衡量的是, inequality, 是不平衡, 啊, 不对等, 不公平, 啊, 那这个不平衡, 不对等, 不公平呢, 是怎么样, 是指的就是财富上面的不对等啊，财富上面的这个啊贫富不均
。那这个东西是怎么样？是 Oxford Oxford releases every year， 它每年都会这个公布的。而且是在 before the start of the 是在什么东西开始之前呢？在这个啊世界经济论坛，这个在 Davos 举行的世界经济论坛里面啊，他每年在这个世界经济论坛举行之前，他都会公布这样的一个数据啊，这样一个 wealth check 的一个数据啊，让他们经济世界世界经济论坛的人好好去讨论一下，你们这些有钱人要讨论一下，怎么样让世界上面财富能够更平均一点。Included in their finding was the mention that the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. Who's worth 112 billion U.S. dollars? That he could pay for the entire health budget of Ethiopia with just one percent of his fortune. I think the thing is, is that we don't really conceive of numbers, large numbers, well. Like I personally can't really conceive of numbers bigger than twenty thousand. It just becomes really abstract to me. <laughs> But millions and billions are something that people really don't understand the difference between. We think a billion is like slightly more than a million. <laughs> But put it this way. Uh, one million seconds is about eleven months. One billion seconds is like thirty something years. Well, that's does that give you a much more accurate perspective?、Absolutely. So, if you're a millionaire, it's not that big a deal. Sorry, sorry, Bruce. <laughs> But if you're a billionaire, now be careful what you're saying here. <laughs> if you're a billionaire, you really, really have a ton of money. Like it's been a meme on the internet recently. What Bezos could pay for. Somebody went around and found the most expensive house, airplane, car, etc., and they calculated if he bought two of everything of these most expensive things in the world, there was like a list of ten items. He still had all of his money, <laughs> like,、oh. he, like not like. <laughs> or they're like, oh, <laughs> what if he bought a house for every homeless person in America? He、mm-hmm. still has ninety nine percent of his money, like.、Mm-hmm. That this one dude owns this one bit of money.、Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's not as simple as that because obviously he keeps it in a bank and people are investing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But his money is only circulating in the financial economy and not in the real economy. And if he would just use even a quarter of it, he could solve so many of the world's problems. Hmm. Ah, so in this place, we see that this is of course a very astounding number. Ah, and then included in their findings, ah. 包含在他们所发现的这个结果啊，或者他们这个计算的结果 ，finding 是他们发现的事情里面啊，包含在这里面的什么样 ？Was the mention 是提到了一，是有一个提到了一件事情啊。That 就指他所提到什么事，这个也是个倒装句啊。我们如果看到这个 the mention， 因为 that 是修饰那个 the mention， 那我们可以看到这个句子的真正的主词是 the mention 啊，所以 the mention 就提到这件事情 was。Included in their findings, 啊，原来句子是这样，他只把 included 拿到前面来，啊，所以强调他 included in their findings was the mention that 啊，他有提到什么呢？他说世界上最有钱的人啊，这个 Jeff Bezos， 啊，那他身价是一千一百二十亿美元啊。那这个刚刚 H 老师举了一个很好的例子，就很多人觉得 million 啊跟 billion 啊听起来都是好像很大的数字，好像差距不大，其实差距非常的大。啊 ，million 是百万 ，billion 是十亿啊，所以是大概呃一百秒一百万秒的话，大概是十一个月啊。那但是这个十亿秒的话，差不多是三十年啊，你就知道这距离多远多大啊。所以它有一千一百二十亿啊，是美元这么多的钱。那它可以怎么样 ？Pay for the entire health budget， 它可以啊、呃，这个把它可以支付伊索皮亚整个的。啊，这个医疗预算，然后呢，只用他百分之一的 fortune， 他财富，他只要花百分之一，他就可以支付整个伊索比亚的这个呃医疗的这个呃医疗照护的预算。好、啊，这是很不得了。那像这样跟着刚刚研究老师有讲过，有人去算过说，就算这些很有钱的人买了全世界最奢侈的东西，每一个买两样。啊，对于他们财富，好像感觉起来没有什么损失啊，顶多就是损失到百分之一而已。好、啊，那这些人就有钱到很夸张的地步。By the way, I just put the pen to paper. Yeah, your thirty years was way off. What? It's over eight hundred years. Oh well. Wow. The internet lied to me. <laughs> Well,、uh-huh. <laughs> just don't study mathematics on the internet. You'll be Clearly. fine. But okay, like you see, eleven months versus eight hundred than- <laughs> years. Do you see the difference between million and billion? It's a lot. Yeah. So, you 刚刚这个 Bruce 老师哈，他数学非常好，马上做了计算。所以呢，一百万秒大概是十一个月，没错。可是十亿秒呢，其实是八百年啊。各位发现十一个月跟八百年的差别。The report also noted that in Britain. 
the poorest 10% were paying more in taxes than the richest 10% in the country. This also gives us the idea, what? Why should poor people pay more taxes to the common wealth, to the, to the common good, than the rich? Yeah, 那这个 report 哈，他也 noted， 他也这个啊、呃、指出了一件事情哈。他说，在英国呢，最穷的百分之十的人，他们所交的税，比英国最有钱的百分之十的人所交的税还要多啊。那可能是因为有钱人，他们可能税务他到了一个顶点之后，他就不用再交更多的税了。也可能他们懂得避税等等的，反而是最穷的人交的税，百分之十的人，最穷的百分之十人交税，比最有钱的百分之十人交的税。还要多啊！这个也是显然是个不合理、不公平的状态。All right, that's it for today's two short articles. We'll the three of us will be back in about a week. Please join us whenever you can here at Ivy.、Inc.